how to add the BNB Smart Chain to your MetaMask. So I'm assuming you have a MetaMask set up already. If you don't, just go to metamask.io, press download and set up a wallet there. I have a separate video guide for that if you need it. Once you have a MetaMask set up though, which I'm assuming you do, we can come to MetaMask here. So if you have a Chrome browser, top right hand corner, you should see the puzzle icon for your extensions. So you can just uh, click on that and it should come up with MetaMask like this. What you can do is just press the three buttons and press expand view and that will take you to, th to this expanded view right here. Now what we can do is add networks very easily. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the Binance Smart Chain or the BNB Chain Blockchain Explorer, which is bscscan.com, I believe. Anyway, I'll link it down in the description so you can get through to the Blockchain Explorer right here. Once you have a MetaMask set up, you can just scroll down and it says add BSC network. So you can click that onto your MetaMask right here. And you can see for me, it says BSC network has already been added. So I'm gonna press okay. But if you press that, then that will just simply automatically add the network to your MetaMask account, just like that. And it's gonna add all the information for you so you don't need to change anything. Now, what you can see or should be able to see is the Ethereum mainnet, which is the default um, uh, network that you can use in your MetaMask. You can just click between them up here. So Binance Smart Chain, I can click, and that now I'm on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, what you can see is your address is exactly the same. So whether you're using Ethereum mainnet or Binance Smart Chain or any of the others within MetaMask, your address is exactly the same, but obviously the networks are different. So assets are going to be different across them as well. The balances aren't interchangeable. That's the easiest way to add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask. We can manually input network details into MetaMask as well. And you'd want to do this if you wanna choose your own RPC. And so I'll show you how to do that. I'll link this article down in the description. It is the Binance uh, Smart Chain article on the Binance website. And it gives you this information right here. Come over to your MetaMask, go over to the settings, then go down to settings right here and choose networks and then choose add a network in the top right hand corner. So click add network. You may see it as an option right here if you want to just automatically add it, or you can press add a network manually. So click that, and then you have this information of the network that you want to add. Network name, as you can see, is smart chain. Actually, you can name this anything that you want. So BNB chain or anything like that you can name. Now, new RPC URL, you can copy and paste this in. This is the default RPC URL. So you just paste that in right here. Chain ID, uh, we can see it's 56. And the currency symbol has to be BNB right here. BNB is the gas token for the Binance Smart Chain. You're going to need that to pay for gas if you want to do anything on that chain. And so the currency symbol, just make sure that it's BNB. Block Explorer, if you want to put that in, bscscan.com. Uh, so you can put that in as well, press OK. Now, I've already got that information right here, but if you don't, it will say save that network and that network will be added for you. You can come back to networks and see all of your added networks here and you can see the information of that network right here. Now, if you wanna switch over to it, just come up and make sure it's on Binance Smart Chain and then you should be able to see all of the assets that you have on this chain. Some users may want to choose their own RPC. This is the way that you communicate with the blockchain. You can come to chainlist.org. Again, I'll link it below. Search for networks here, BNB, and you should see BNB Smart Chain, which is the one that most people will want to use. Click down here. You can see all of these different RPCs and they are scored based on their latency and privacy. So as you can see here, the lowest latency are this lot, and you can just literally copy this RPC right here and then go back to MetaMask and then just choose that exact same way of getting into it. So networks, and then you can add a network. You can actually change the RPC right here. So you don't have to change or add a network again, just paste in the new RPC. That is a way that you communicate with the blockchain. You may get faster transactions or lower latency right here. And you can see that the privacy of some of them are not good and the privacy of some of them is a lot better. So some of them clock your IP address, which you may want, not want happening. So you can choose the best one for you right here. There are a lot of RPCs that you can choose. Now, what we can also do is go to the uh, BNB chain list. Again, I'll link this down in the description. Binance Smart Chain is just one of the networks. You also have different networks in the Binance ecosystem. For example, this main net right here, Greenfield, which is a data blockchain. And you can see the information uh, for all of the chains right here. You can connect wallet right here. These are very new networks and so there's not many options, but uh, you can add BNB chains through this as well, which I'll link in the description if you wanna use these different chains for uh, you know different use cases.
If you have assets on different chains that you want to bridge over to the BNB chain, that is possible. There's two ways of doing this. The first one, if you have assets in Ethereum mainnet, for example, is to use a bridge like Seabridge or Stargate. These are probably the two most popular. You can come to Seabridge or Stargate right here and just go from a chain. So I'm going to go Ethereum mainnet. You can see it switches me over in MetaMask automatically to Ethereum mainnet. If you have any assets on Ethereum mainnet, what you can do is say I want to send from Ethereum mainnet and I want to go over to the BNB chain and it's the same address of course and then you can put some of these assets for example you know US dollar tether or anything if you have it from your Ethereum mainnet over to the BNB chain and that's going to cost you some gas it's going to cost you some fees but it's going to get assets over from one chain to another chain however I don't use these personally and I wouldn't recommend them either because there have been so many bridge hacks uh, so potentially what you can do is the best way for me is just to directly withdraw assets over the BNB chain from a Binance account or other exchange account as well. So as an example, BNB or USDT, you can actually withdraw these directly. So let's choose BNB because we need some gas. So I uh, go and buy some in my Binance account and press withdraw. You can sign up to Binance via the link in the description or other exchanges like Bybit, which also support this. But just get your wallet address from the Binance Smart Chain in Metamask. It's going to be the same across all of the chains. Press withdraw right here and then choose the BNB Smart Chain BEP20. As you can see, that is the chain that you want to use. You can get assets right into the BNB Smart Chain if you want to use them. I have an in-depth BNB chain guide on how to use applications and way more. I'll leave that in the description. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.